Uh, it's been a busy week. This video is going to be a vibe, to say the least. Really wanted to kind of document to close out 2020 my LEGO Star Wars collection because it is something that I think is going to be expanding in the near future into 2021 and moving forward. First thing I should do is today's shout out. Creator Cuber, I see you. I see you in the comments. All you have to do to get a shout out like this is be a subscriber, be in the comments, encouraging wonderful comments. They get shouted out. So, you know, Creator Cuber, they weren't expecting this, but now here they are. Another thing, I know this video is gonna be a bit more of a relaxed vibe, like I said, but I do have some really exciting stuff planned for the future and the coming next few videos, I think, are gonna be really exciting. Maybe I'll give you a sneak peek. All right, all right, that's it. That's all you get. That's your sneak peek. Another thing is that I'm planning a kind of comment section driven, similar to a Q&A style video. Oh, we're getting uh, close to like 250 subscribers, so that's a great milestone to do something like this. And I wanna make it kind of an ongoing series. So not only a Q&A, but maybe if you have, you know, oh, dares or like Dama dares, uh, can you try to solve a Rubik's cube with one hand? Or general questions, oh, what color are your eyes or something? You know, anything, anything typical Q&A, just I want to have like a nice comment interactive video series that I hope to start pretty soon. So I'm going to put a pinned comment down below and that'll kind of prompt you. Ask questions, give me requests, any video ideas. That's a great thing. We'll discuss it all in those kind of videos and it's going to be exciting. So do that. I might mention this again before that video comes out, but yeah, get your Q&A question ideas flowing. I think that's everything. Is that everything? I think that's it. I'm going to clear all the stuff out of the way and we're going to get into my 2020 LEGO Star Wars collection now. Alright, so what better place to start than the, the big behemoth, well the biggest behemoth that I own, the 2011 Millennium Falcon. Let me, let me move these lobster Mr. Crab hands out of the way for a minute there. There we go. The 2011 Millennium Falcon, I got this very recently, and if you're wondering how it's perched up, I do have a video explaining how I made this wooden display stand. If you look really close, it's pretty janky, but from far away, hey, looks really nice. So, definitely my favorite set that I own, and the perfect place to start off this collection video, the 2011 Millennium Falcon. Slid it out of the way, but its booty is still kind of bopping into the screen. Let's keep moving on the 2011 vibes with what many people deem to be two of the greatest battle packs of all of LEGO Star Wars over the years. That is number one, the Mandalorian battle pack, the original one, not the 2021 where everyone's different colors, but where you get four of the same Mandalorians. How do you, how do you make things focus? You know what they look like. Four Mandalorians, the speeder, the small turret base thing, and yeah, the battle pack that went along with that was, of course, the 2011 clone, I don't know what it was actually called, clone trooper, clone something battle pack, bomber squad, clone bomb pack, something like that. There it is, the clone battle pack from 2011 as well. Here's one of those bomb squad troopers up close, nice crispy orange color. I don't think it's going to focus. We'll stop doing that. But uh, regardless, you can get a good look there. Moving along, we'll kind of start shifting everybody down. And where would it be cool to go next? I think the first LEGO Star Wars set that I ever got, which was the 2006, yeah, that's a pretty long time ago, TIE Interceptor. Now this was from back when they still used the blue I don't know, there's like a whole story behind that and how the, the movies were supposed to be blue and then they were gray. Anyways, here's the <laughs> TIE Interceptor from 2006. Came with one TIE Pilot minifigure in there. Really great set. I guess it technically introduced me to LEGO Star Wars. And yeah, not much else to say. Great looking set and we'll slide it on down. Episode 10 spoilers. TIE Interceptor, side swipes, entire army. Here's one with a bit of a story behind it. Don't know what year it's from, maybe 2017-ish when Force Awakens was having a lot of sets. I don't know, that was 2015, what am I saying? 
sometime around there. This is Ray's speeder. Now I actually got this. You can see the little Uncar's thud, thud, thug, thud riding on the side there just for displayability but uh, this speeder i actually have a video i made on this speeder and the full build i actually got this on ebay used and it came with some mega blocks which uh wasn't too thrilled about maybe i'll link that video somewhere maybe i won't i don't know don't hold me to it but uh, i mean pretty simple set it looks nice on display but uh i know that there's a mega block inside and that doesn't make me feel very good oh, i'm way too excited for this one i know you saw it in the thumbnail so let's get it out of the way this is the 2007, oh, look at that, nice dramatic shot. The 2007 Trade Federation MTT, undoubtedly the best MTT to ever come out of LEGO Star Wars. This retailed for $100 back in the day. So 2007, I would have been like seven or eight. And I remember going to buy this, so excited. Like, I mean, look at this, ready? Comes fully stocked. How many droids are in there? One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm looking at the camera. There's like 16 droids in there. You got like weapon storage. You got the backs dropping down for the speeders in there. This is an incredible set. Super thrilled to have this. It's gone like way up in value for any of you Lego investors. It's like going for like at least two to three hundred dollars used. Like I said, retailed for a hundred. So this is definitely a prized piece. It rolls around pretty nicely. Also came with the Droidica, which I have somewhere. But uh, the Trade Federation MTT 2007, beauty, 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 beep, 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 beep. Next up, we'll go for, I don't know why I'm, I'm talking when I'm not in front of the camera, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but uh, next up, we'll go for the, the Ray, what was this called? The Battle on Star Killer, Duel on, Duel on Star Killer Base with Ray and Kylo, no helmet Kylo, and of course, split open this is a really cool little vignette style display piece that i always have on the desk gets nice and dusty and uh yeah i mean not much else to say about that ah uh, yes it goes along nicely with my only sealed set that i still have yet to assemble in my collection which is the duo naboo now this one of course featuring obi-wan qui-gon and darth maul is going to be a really exciting set to build and this this and the duel on Mustafar, which I hope to obtain in the near future, will be a great little trio of these dual sets. So happy to have these. We'll get this built one day, maybe in a video if you want that. And yeah, that's all I have to say about this little duel on Starkiller base set. Next up is another set that I think is from around the 2010s era. That is this droid gunship. Now there's been a couple iterations of this. This is the one that just came with two uh, battle droids, or three, I think, one pilot and two extra. And it's got the bomb dropping feature. Maybe we should give that a go. How do I, where do I turn it? Oh, look at that, beautiful play feature. Love that as a kid. And the droid gunship, it looks, it looks actually pretty clean. It's nice and displayable. It's kind of got these display talon things at the bottom. So if I set that down, you can see it kind of keeps itself propped up. Another great display piece, another great piece in the collection, another great addition to this collection video. Move that droid gunship out of the way to make a little bit more room for the coveted, all-powerful, amazing, incredible, simptastic 501st battle pack. Here it is. I mean, you know what it looks like. Oh, it looks just really nice and washed out with everything behind it. So let's move that out of the way. 501st Battle Pack, you got the AT, AP, AT something walker. Oh my God, I'm gonna get, oh, the Star Wars fans mad at me for that one. Don't, don't, don't unsubscribe, please. Please. It comes with four, uh, well, three 501st Troopers and the Jet Trooper, who looks very nice. Oh yeah, we're not doing that anymore because it's too blurry. Nice way to remember. And it came with two battle droids as well. So that's the 501st Battle Pack. You know all about this. Well, don't need to explain that. Now, if you're still here, we've got one set left, and for staying this long, you deserve to be blessed by the the cuteness overload that is the Baby Yoda Brickhead. And of course, came with the Mando, but I mean, who cares about Mando? We're here for the the puppy eyes of Baby Yoda, who lives on my shelf and stares at me all day while I go about my life. 
This is actually the first uh, set of brick heads that I own and I'd definitely be interested in getting more. I, I really like them, kind of similar to like a Funko Pop or something, I like to display them. Kind of unique as it's not like a minifig kind of play scale set for Lego Star Wars, but uh, really enjoy these figures. They were a gift from my girlfriend who, if you haven't seen, you can watch us eat Kit Kat chocolate bars together, so that's exciting. Maybe I'll link that somewhere too, maybe I won't. You know, can't promise anything these days. Should I, should I do the outro like this? Now we'll pull it back out for the outro. Like I said, I just wanted to throw this video together because I really wanted to document my collection at the end of 2020 while I have it all kind of out. Like I said, there are big and exciting things coming, so I hope you stay tuned for that. If you're still here, go to the pinned comment, start prompting me uh, like challenges, questions, etc., for that Q&A style series that I wanna start, and have a blessed afternoon, morning, night, evening, or anything in between that you're having right now, and I will see you in the future.